Bombardier's Global 8000 just made a major leap toward certification. This aircraft isn't just another business jet. It's the fastest civilian plane since the Concorde. That's right, let's take a look for today's video. Over the weekend, the first production model of the Bombardier Global 8000 successfully completed its inaugural flight. The takeoff occurred from Bombardier's Aircraft Assembly Center in Mississauga, Ontario. During this initial outing, the aircraft executed a full series of standard test procedures before landing without incident. It marks a critical step towards certification for what Bombardier is positioning as its new flagship jet, replacing the Global 7500, which entered service back in 2018. The Global 800 promises a top speed of Mach 0.94, making it the fastest civilian jet since the legendary Concorde. And in case you're wondering, yes, it actually broke the Mach 1 barrier during a controlled dive in 2021, reaching Mach 1.05 in testing. That technically makes it supersonic, although not in level flight, of course. Stephen McCullough, Bombardier's Senior Vice President of Engineering and Product Development, said it best. Having this first production aircraft take to the skies is another important step in this journey that will redefine the business aviation landscape. On board this historic flight were pilots Sandro Novelli, co-pilot Charlie Honey, and flight engineer Pargav Pavsar. According to Bombardier, all flight control systems were tested and everything performed exactly as expected. That's a strong indication of the jet's readiness as it advances toward final certification. The next stop, the aircraft is now scheduled to fly to the Laurent Baudouin Completion Center in Montreal, where its interior will be fully fitted and customized. So what exactly makes the Global 8000 special? Range, 8,000 nautical miles. That's long enough to fly nonstop from Singapore to Los Angeles, Dubai to Houston, or even London to Perth. Cruising speed, Mach 0.92 for typical long-haul use, but as we mentioned, it's capable of Mach 0.94. Engines, enhanced GE Passport engines, with optimized software for improved range, and a 33-knot speed increase over the Global 7500. Altitude. Like the Global 7500, it cruises at up to 51,000 feet. Cabin features. This will be the largest cabin in its class, complete with four customizable zones. Options may include a master suite with a bed and stand-up shower. Cabin pressure, remarkably, the Global 8000 boasts the lowest cabin pressurization of any business jet, a pressure equivalent to 2,900 feet while cruising at 41,000 feet. That translates into a far more comfortable experience for long-haul passengers. So what do you think of Bombardier's move here? Is the Global 8000 the new king of the skies, or will Gulfstream or Dassault snatch that crown? Leave a comment below. Thank you.